So now that we've got our Pixhawk uh, attached to our board with the Velcro underneath, I'm going to go ahead and lay out the components on the top of the platform rover. Normally what I'd do for a build like this is I'd have the Pixhawk right in the middle, right there, and then I'd arrange the other components around it, trying to account for uh, electromagnetic noise and, and things like that. So your telemetry radio, which is going to be the noisiest component on the board, I would mount at the back of the rover like that. The GPS, which is a receive only device, so you want nice clear sky and uh, good isolation from everything else, I would probably mount that at the front. The power module, as I've said previously, I mount that underneath with a cable tie and I have the power cable come up through a hole and into the power connector on the PIX hook. So that'll be mounted underneath. The transmitter receiver, so the receiver for the RC rack transmitter, I usually mount that on the side and I usually try to have it so the receiver antennas are vertical. And the last two components, the buzzer and the button, I'll just mount in any space. However, for this build, it's slightly different. For this build, I want to incorporate a payload, which I'm going to position here. Now, the payload could be a companion computer or uh, some other device that I just want to be uh, fitted to the rover. The other thing is, on this rover, you would normally place one battery in under here. Um, but for this rover, I want a, a long endurance rover, a rover that's going to be able to run for some time. So along with that payload up the back, I'm going to be using four of these uh, 5,000 milliamp hour 2S batteries. So four of those, and I'm going to mount those up the back here, like so, and then I can run the wiring in underneath. So two there, which I'll strap down, and then another two over here, again which I'll strap down and I'll do a bit of a wiring harness underneath attached to that rear bumper. So because I'm going to have that payload sitting there I think this time around I'll I'll move the Pixhawk further forward and have it sitting there like that. I think the GPS will still remain in the same spot and I'll probably move the radio over to one side like that. Again, I'll mount the power brick underneath, out of the way, with the power cord coming up and through to the power port. And the receiver, probably over this side, I would say. Again, away from the GPS and away from the telemetry radio. And then the speaker and the push button, the safety button, wherever I have remaining space on the board. Okay, so I'll go ahead and I'll cable up these components and we'll go from there.